Hey, yo, so I was in Walmart um, a couple days back going Christmas shopping, and we came across this waffle maker, Nostalgia, My Mini Waffle Maker by Nostalgia. Um, I'm actually using it right now. This is my first time using it. Um, I've used one of these um, before in the past. Never owned one, but I used one, and I liked it. I mean, it made decent waffles, and... Um, I needed a waffle maker. I didn't really need that big one that you see um, in hotels or that they use in restaurants. But this one I felt like was perfect because, you know, nine times out of ten, it's just me. My wife really doesn't like waffles, but she'll eat them. And so here I have one that I just made. Um, I like my waffles kind of cri not crispy. But I like them done done. I don't like them to look white. I don't like them to be so soft and gooey. Um, so this one technically um, by the instructions has been done. Um, but I just want to leave it on there for a, a little bit so it can kind of like crunch up a little bit. So where I'm pretty sure the waffle is done in less than five minutes. Um, you know, I just have mine on for extra time. <clears throat> this thing is really neat um i have my waffle batter here um and i just made it while this thing was heating up um i think this thing was less than ten dollars i think we paid nine bucks for it on walmart i will link it down below um if anyone is interested um in purchasing this um and again i'll do a full review once i have finished using it um because I'm going to make multiple waffles. I think I'm going to make as much as I can with this batter here. And again, this is my mini waffle maker by Nostalgia. Um, they have a, other um, they have other makers. I think they have like a little mini bunt cake maker. You can make donuts. Um, they actually have a griddle where you can make pancakes and other um, things on that. But yeah, man, less than $10, Nostalgia, my mini waffle maker. Um, this thing is nice. I'm just wishing it would crisp up a little faster. But I mean, I think this is the best I'm going to get with this one. And let me just demonstrate. Um, see if I can demonstrate, y'all. Put you guys down for a little bit and... What I did before, I greased the bottom and top with some vegetable oil um, so that it wouldn't stick. And instructions are to put it right in the center of the, of the grate. Too much to the top down. I think I did too much on that one. You might see it come out at the sides, but um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. I think once that's done, the light will either come on. Um, yeah, so the light comes on now once you put your waffle in, and it will turn off once it's done. And again, I told you guys that I like my waffle. Kind of like this consistency, darker, a little bit crunch, crunchier than this, but you know, this is fine. I mean, this is a little waffle maker. You're not going to get Belgian style restaurant waffles with this, but for the most part, it does the job, y'all. I have some maple syrup from um, Sam's Club that I'm going to pair it with. Um, I actually have some hot dogs here boiling. Um, I have some bacon, but I'm going to leave the rest for my wife if she decides to eat breakfast. So I'm going to use some organic maple syrup on that. And y'all, again, I'm going to do a full review on this. Um, I, don't, I don't like that there's so much steam. There was another waffle maker that I used in the past that didn't have all the steam coming from it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's like a lot of steam coming from it. Kind of makes me worry. So I'm like, okay, what's going on? But I know it's just cooking and... So the light went off, guys. 
Um, yeah. That is not how I like my waffle. I love my waffle like this, so I'm gonna let this stay on there for a while. And again, that's less than five minutes that I just put that waffle on there. It is already technically done according to this waffle maker, but I like my waffles a little bit well done than that. So y'all, I'm going to link all of this in the description. I'm gonna link the waffle maker from Walmart by Nostalgia. I'm gonna link the maple syrup, and I'm also gonna link this vegetable oil. This is a decent size vegetable oil for a decent price. They say to use vegetable oil on the maker. So yeah, man, it also comes with a book with you. Show you guys it also comes with a booklet here about uh, a couple pages kind of instruction on how to use it how to operate it safety tips um for those who are not familiar with it um also there's recipes and whatnot yeah so i'm gonna do it after of this video just explaining um excuse me review of this item just explaining how I liked it, you know, um, how to use it, this, that, and the third, and yeah. So some recipes on the back you can make. Neat little nostalgia, neat, neat little gift. I think it's a perfect gift to give someone, especially during the Christmas holidays. Um, again, they have other waffle makers, they have griddles, they have little cake, mini cake makers and things like that, y'all. So check out my upcoming video on this if you really want to know how things work and my review all right y'all here's the final product